Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this binder clip. All right, let's hop right to it. First things first, what we want to do is we want to set this up by creating a new component. And instead of standard, we're going to make sure sheet metal selected. The sheet metal rule I chose was stainless steel 0.25. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and show you how I arrived at that, because you may not have that. So what I did was I selected sheet metal, modify sheet metal rules. And you'll see a bunch of uh, items in the library. And so what I did was I created my own rule. Okay. I went to steel, stainless steel. And what I did was I chose one of these two, or actually can choose this. What you can do is you can start out with the stainless steel and basically right click, edit rule, a new rule. And what I did was I created a new rule. So with stainless steel, what I did was I created this one. And these are the parameters as shown. Thickness is 0.25, K-factor is 0.44, miter rip seam gap is 0.25 millimeters. And bend conditions and corner conditions. But that's about it for now. All right, let's close this up. Let's go ahead and start out with a new component. Again, type sheet metal. Sheet metal rule, stainless steel, 0.25, created. Click OK. All right, now, this is what we want to do. We want to start out with a sketch. Let's go back to sheet metal, sketch. We're going to make this on the front plane. We're going to start out with a line. We're going to make this 5.85 millimeters. Okay, zoom in a bit. going to create a circle. We want it to be a construction circle. I'm going to create it about right there. We want it to be about 2.5 millimeters. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and measure the distance. So from here to here, we want it to be about 9.75 millimeters. And from here to here, want to be about 1.51 millimeters. All right, now it's fully defined. Let's go ahead and continue drawing our lines. We want these lines to be solid. So from here to here, I'm going to go ahead and make that tangent to that construction line. All right. And so what I want to do now is basically take three point arc. We'll start here. We'll bring it about right here, make it about like that. Let's actually drag this to make sure it's touching the line. There we go. Use the concentric constraint, select the arc we just created and this circle. Okay. Now we're going to measure the distance. I'm going to drag this up a bit. We're going to measure the distance from here to here, it wants to be about 0.5 millimeters. All right, sketch is now fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to use the flange tool. Okay, I'm going to select this profile. I'm going to type in 10 millimeters. I want to be on side two. We want to make it symmetric and it's going to be a new body. However, we want to select bend override and we want it to be 1.5 millimeters. Okay. Next thing we want to do is unfold it. So we're going to click modify, unfold, we select this part here and it unfolds. All right. We're going to select the top view, create a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to create a design, a cutout design. Okay. 
So utilizing the center diameter circle, I'm gonna start about right here. I'm gonna make the circle about two millimeters. Zoom in a bit. All right. Now, so we're gonna create this profile as follows. I'm gonna make it solid lines, okay? So we'll start out about right here, give it this angle and connect it here, make it tangent to the circle. We're gonna start out about right here. Well, actually this uh, one more step, one step I need to correct is made a construction line directly through the center. There you go, okay? Now we can go back. So we'll start out about right here, bring it down. Actually, we gotta make it a solid line. So go back, make it a solid line. And also make it tangent with the circle. Using a parallel constraint, we want this line and this line to be parallel with each other. Okay. Let's go ahead and add some dimensions. Actually, let's go ahead and use the three point arc. We'll start here, here, bring it here, and we'll make it also cocentric. All right. Now let's go ahead and add dimensions. Okay. From this point to this edge, we're gonna make this three millimeters. From this point to this edge, we're gonna make this 1.29 millimeters. From this point to this point, we're gonna make this 4.5 millimeters. And last but not least, let's go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, make this point from this point about 0.5 millimeters. All right. Let's drag this down a bit. Let's go ahead and make this point here and this point here about five millimeters. Last but not least, this point to this point here, we'll make this six millimeters. And now the sketch is fully defined. Bring it out so you can see the dimensions again. All right, let's add some fillets. So we're gonna add a fillet here and here. I'm gonna make the fillet one millimeter. And it's still fully defined. We're gonna go ahead and finish this. Actually, let's not finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the mirror command because we wanna mirror this first. Use the mirror command, select your profile. Use the mirror line, which we just created, this line right here, and click OK. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. What we want to do now is use the extrude tool. And what we want to do is select the top side. The operation is going to be set to cut, and there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and refold faces. All right. For the next step, I want to go ahead and use the mirror command. We'll select bodies, mirror plane. We'll select that edge, join, and click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and create a new component, but this time it's just going to be standard. Okay. Click OK. And again, you can name your components, whatever. We're just going, going to run through it real quick. All right. So what we want to do is go back to solid, create a sketch, and we're going to put it on the top plane. Okay. We're going to create a construction line. I'm going to make this about 23 
0.5 millimeters vertical and horizontal it's going to be about eight millimeters when you use a center diameter circle it will still be construction make this 10.75 And we're gonna go ahead and create one more construction line from the center point here to the top. All right, now we're done with construction. Let's go ahead and start building the profile. First things first, let's go ahead and use a three point arc. Start right here on TC to square, bring it here, make sure it's at the top. Use the concentric tool for constraints and it's concentric, but it's not fully defined. Okay. All right. This is stationary, but this is not. All right. So let's go ahead and continue this profile using the line tool. We'll click here at the square, drag and hold so we can get a curve release and just basically let it play out a little bit. Left click and hold and drag till we get another arc. And when it comes directly outside of the, um, construction circle. Let's go ahead and bring it down. Just a straight line about right there. Drag and hold to create another arc until it touches this line. Select again until the box comes up and then drag it over to this point and you're done. Let's just get this out of right real quick. We'll go ahead and dimension this and make this 3.7 millimeters. Let's use the tangent constraint and make sure that we select this line. So we just left click and hold until it shows up and there it is. All right. So let's go ahead and walk the dog. So little by little, we're going to go ahead and configure this to give it the shape we want. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make this arc two millimeters. We're going to make this arc tangent with this line. Now let's go ahead and dimension this arc. We're going to make it 1.5 millimeters. Remember to grab the two points. This point to this point for this straight line, we're going to make this 1.8 millimeters. Okay. From this point to this point for this arc, we're going to make this about four millimeters. All right. So for this arc, we're going to make this six millimeters. All right. We're going to make this arc tangent with this line. Okay. It's coming together. All right. We're going to go ahead and make this arc two millimeters. And now the sketch is fully defined. Give you a minute to take a look at that. All right, let's finish the sketch. What we want to do now <clears throat> is create a construction plane along a path. I'm going to select this. Actually, let me cancel that. Select this. I'm going to drag it to the very edge. Okay. So it'll be at the end, the very end. Now we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on that plane. We just created. All right. So we're going to create a circle. We're going to make this 1.3 millimeters. Finish the sketch. All right, we're going to go ahead and use the sweep tool. Select this profile. The path is going to be this line right here. Click OK. All right, let's go ahead and mirror this. We're going to use the mirror command. Select the bodies. Mirror plane. You can just select this. And click OK. What we want to do also is bring back all the parts because we're going to start mating everything together. All right, 
just go ahead and slide this out of the way. So I'm going to use the joint command. All right, so let's select this face, this face. And let's go back again and select this face again to make sure it's in the center. And we'll select this edge this edge and make sure that we make sure it's actually in the center and there you have it okay all right click okay what we want to do now is create a copy of this component right click at the very top paste new okay we want to drag it out Click OK. Let's do the same with this item. Okay, we're going to select the joint command. Select this face. This face. Select it again. It's in the center. And for this item, select this edge. This edge. Let's go ahead and make sure it's going to be in the center. There we have it. Okay. All right. Just to make sure it's going to be revolute for both. Click OK. OK, we'll go ahead and ground this one. Capture position. We'll bring this down. We'll bring this down as well. What we want to do here is go back to assemble and enable all contact. So now when I drag it, it won't go through. All right. Turn off joints. And there you have it, the binder clip. Well, I hope this exercise was very informative. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.